I am bald. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Here we go. Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. I'm QB. So today's video is going to be uh, how to install a frontal sewing um, using the ball cap method on Hispanic hair featuring QB collections. My collections, I will put everything in the description down below on where to purchase this hair and everything. Um, so this is my Hispanic friend Cassie. She was actually one of the first pers people I met. Um, when I first came to Texas, she's like a little sister to me. I love her so much. But um, yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and blow dry her hair because we did wash her hair. Um, we just shampooed it and conditioned it. You never want to work on hair that is oily or dirty. So now her hair is drying up a little bit. Yo, I don't even know what we was laughing about, but <laughs> like me and her are really clowns around each other. Like we laugh about everything, but excuse us um i'm just gonna go ahead and finish blow drying her hair as you can see it's drying up pretty fast already and um after that i'm just gonna go ahead and put some cantu leave-in conditioner cream in her hair and i'm doing this so you can i can moisturize the hair you know you want to make sure your hair is also protected under your sewings your wigs whatever All right, so now I'm just going ahead and um, parting her hair in the middle because she wanted a middle part. And I'm going to go ahead and section off one side of her hair, um, put it in a ponytail um, so that we can separate that part of the hair from the other side of the hair while we work on the other side of the hair. So um, you want to make sure you do that and um, so that the hairs are not all over the place. All right, now I'm going ahead and I'm getting started on the braiding. Um, it's really not easy to braid like um, Hispanic hair or Latina hair or whatever, um, Caucasian hair, because the hair is so silky and so it won't stay in the braid properly sometimes. Like it'll start slipping off because it's so silky. But I tried my best. <laughs> the braids were not the best, but um, this video does prove that it can be done. So as you can see, I have braided her hair. She is so beautiful. I tell her this all the time. I'm like, you're so beautiful. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're going to go ahead and finish braiding the hair. I made sure to um, have her hold some of the braids while I finished up the braids um, so that it wouldn't like unravel from the ends. Um, but yeah, it was a success. So moving on to the next part of our sewing. All right, so now we are going to be taking our braid and we are going to put that up and try to braid that. Um, sorry, sew it on to um, the rest of the braids on her scalp. So we're doing this so we don't have the braid just sticking out. You know, that's not cute. So you want to make sure that you um, sew the hair um, onto her scalp, not her scalp, but her braids, braid scalp, whatever. Um, as you can see, I did put a scrunchie on the other part of the braids because I didn't want it to unravel. So that's like the safest way for me to do it because like I said, braiding hair like this is not easy, but it can be done. So now we have put our cap on her and we are ready to start sewing. Um, so um, as you can see, she has the bundles in her hands. You guys can purchase these bundles from my website, QB Collection is my collections. Um, I have bundles on there. I have actually have a bundle deal sale going on right now if you guys want to purchase. Bundles, frontals, closures, you name it. You can find it on the site. It's really, really affordable for the best quality. So do not forget. It's in the link in the bio. Go ahead and shop. Um, so right now I'm just going ahead and I am sewing the cap onto her braids so that we can protect her braids um, and we can also secure the cap onto her braids. And we are going to finish doing this and move on to the actual frontal part. 
All right, so now we are gonna um, basically use the got to be spray and like a teeth comb to just brush back her edges, her baby hairs to make sure, cause this is a protective style at the end of the day. So we wanna make sure that we are protecting her edges, protecting her hair um, from anything. So we wanna make sure you're slicking that back so that it is staying in place and it's not moving around and like, you know, getting intact with the glue. So now we're gonna be um, taking our Gossipy glue. Um, I usually use the black one. Um, I actually don't use this now, but cause this video was taken a long time ago, probably like a couple months ago, last summer. <laughs> so I just never got around to uploading it, editing it and all that stuff. So, um, you know, right now I do use the Ghost Bond glue and I feel like that's better for me. But um, yeah, so you're gonna take your Gossipy glue, apply it to the um, cap and make sure that it is not, um, touching her it is just touching her skin and the cap okay and you want to make sure you also take your got to be spray and go over that on top of that and this just basically helps to secure the cap onto her head and to make sure that the cap you know doesn't stick up or whatever and it's just laid you want to make sure that the the spray is not dripping onto her scalp then you want to go ahead and take your blow dryer and just blow dry that into place and make sure that the gossip bead is not is not dripping onto the the uh what's it called her face or anything or forehead just make sure that it's in a secure place which is basically on her hairline all right so now i'm just placing the frontal on her head to see how everything is looking so far before i actually sew the frontal on but as you can see in this clip the um the frontal is a little too orangey it's a little too brassy or whatever bracy um on her scalp right now so we did go ahead and put like a little makeup on the cap to make the um lace match her scalp all right, so now we just going ahead and we are just sewing on the frontal in the back um, before we sew our bundles. You always want to make sure you sew the frontal first and then the bundles so you can like measure like, okay, where is the frontal going to lay and everything. So after that, um, we're just going to basically sew the rest of the bundles on and um, get started on the front part of the hair. Unfortunately, I don't have clips or, you know, I guess they disappeared or whatever from my camera um of like me actually laying the frontal showing you guys how i laid the frontal the baby hairs and everything unfortunately but i do have um little clips that we took after this video because this video was taken last summer so um i'm not sure what happened but i'm just now getting around to editing this video but um i am going to insert some clips and pictures some videos um of what the hair looked like afterwards so this is the hair she really 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 loved this install this was actually my first time working on someone of her complexion and doing a frontal install on them so it wasn't perfect but it looked pretty damn good okay um next time i'm i am gonna try to see if i can get the lace to be a little lighter but i really really love this hair my hair qb collections don't forget to shop um link will be in the description below and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.